points hike. Uh, Bank of Canada, 75 basis point hike. You know, Reserve Bank of Australia, 25 hike in July and 50 in August. Um, Swiss National Bank, 25 hike. You know what I mean? They, they've got numbers and you're thinking to yourself, well, they're all hiking, right? Where is the where is the divergence? Where What, what else can we look towards? The... The, the 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 underlying i guess one of the divergences that you could look for is how much they're hiking by and how long they're going to be hiking yeah and um you know when those hikes are potentially looking to tail off right so for, for as an example you know the bank of england it says narrowly expected 50 basis point hike in august followed by a, a 25 basis point hike in september right so if you're looking at that from a from a uh uh, the perspective of maybe some sort of a uh, curve it's like okay we're doing expecting a oh sorry one second uh red we're expecting maybe a big hike and then it's starting to tail off whereas you're seeing something like the um the reserve bank of australia are looking to maybe hike a little at the beginning and then a bigger one you know in in august right so when one starts to trail off and one starts to actually increase, yeah, that's known as a bit of a convergence trade. So you want to be buying the Australian dollar and selling the pound, right? That's pretty much what that is. There's there's that type of divergence uh, or convergence. But also you're looking at this um, economically, right? So um, recession talk. Right. Everyone's focusing and the, and, the, and the narrative is like the U.S. are going into recession. The U.S. are going into recession, which um, I it's anything is possible. But I still think and I've discussed this, you know, week in, week out. that I do think that the, the U.S. is still the, 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 the best of the worst, especially when it comes to, you know, Europe. Right. And 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 uh, and and the U.K. Yeah. So that as far as the GDP and the economy is something that you must be aware of, right? You must, 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 must be aware of. And that is going to be, I think, the edge, yeah, between, um, you know, buying and selling or going long or going short on a, on a, on a um, currency. The US at the moment is the currency or the, the, the economy that is, I think, best placed to... Um, weather the storm and potentially avoid the recession. Whereas, you know, the the UK and, and Europe, I think are likely to go into some sort of recession, whether they do or don't, I don't know, but remember we're buying the rumor, right? So that's why, you know, I've been, you know, my bias has been to short pound dollar and short Euro dollar. And it's been like that for, you know, a few months, right? Also remember um, that although central banks are hiking, and this again ties back into diff economic differentials, who is hiking into weakness or unsupported hikes? So unsupported hikes is pretty much in order for you, in order for the currency to really appreciate, yeah, um, you really have to have economic growth, right? So you have to have, you know, GDP growing to support rate hikes and i do advise you to watch maybe last week or the week before um the group call if you haven't watched those already you should be really watching all the videos in the uh, in the channel don't skip any videos because there's so much information um in those channels um you know and i kind of go over this but you want to have um you know interest rates be supported by um GDP and GDP growth, right? Because obviously high inflation above that 2% target. Now, if you have, and we currently do have a situation where GDP is potentially doing this, yeah, it's contracting and potentially heading into a recession, but they're still hiking interest rates. Um, the currency is not going to be as appreciate as much, if at all, because the market is probably trying to maybe factor in the um, uh, price in the fact that hiking interest rates when you don't have a growing economy could actually push you into a recession quicker. Yeah. So that's where the market is actually what the market is thinking about rather than just it's 
being simply, well, you know, they're hiking interest rates and everyone knows that interest rates, you know, appreciates the currency. There's a difference between, you know, what, what, what they're not saying, yeah, is that GDP has to support that. Then that's great for a currency, right? Brilliant. Fantastic. Because the, because they can support the interest rates. It's not, it's not going to cause them to go into recession. But if the economy is already struggling and they're hiking interest rates and inflation is, you know, uh, you know 10%, for example, yeah, that is is actually not and what is known as a dovish hike i think i think maybe that's what would be called a dovish hike um but it's a hike that isn't as strong as you know would be if the economy was growing yeah so it's a hike and it's a weak hike which means that maybe in the short term you might see some sort of short term boost but remember, the market's already priced that hike in by the time they do hike and is looking forward to see if, well, what's going on with what? The economy, right? Is that going to push? Is that hike right now going to push that currency into a recession? So that's why you might find, and you probably are likely to find that, although Europe are hiking rates and the pound and Bank of England are hiking rates, it's not really having the effect of appreciating that currency. Yeah, it's not, it's not you know, the, the, the pound dollar isn't going to reverse, you know, five, six, seven hundred pips. It might do, I don't know, but it's unlikely to, simply because the, the, the pair that it's up against, the UK against the, you know, the, 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 the pound, I'm oh, sorry, UK against the pound, the UK against the dollar, and the US, the US, you know, is... The stronger out of the two. Why would you want to be buying the pound? And we're, and we're potentially going into a recession. And recessions typically last, on average, they say, two years, right? Historically. I'm not saying it will. You might have a, you know, a double dip recession where it goes in, then goes out, and then goes in, then goes out again. Who knows? But the point is, is that that is what the theme is going forward, right? And that's, you know, keep that in mind when making your, uh, you know, your, your trading decisions.